Welcome to the video. This is the introduction video to a brand new series that we're going to be doing over the coming months, building a quadcopter on this frame. Now, this frame is a little bit different. It's designed for the Connex HDFBV kit. This one's out of the box innovations. It's called the VLX 230C. And in the next couple of minutes, I'll show you all of the different technology that we've got here that we're going to put on this little guy to get a quadcopter at the end of the series. Now, this is actually the fourth series of quadcopter builds that we've done on the channel. The very first one that we did was looking at a very standard build with a seriously pro F3 clone and it was a kind of H style quadcopter, very typical and quite easy to build at the time that we were doing it. We added it onto a FSI 6S radio and went through all the FPV stuff, how you did it. And that very first series along with the second series that we did quadcopter building for beginners series 2 where we built more of an x racer frame both of those are designed for builders that have never built a quadcopter before it goes through each individual step in an awful lot of detail and also explains some of the background about why some of the things are done in the way that they are we've also got another series quadcopter building series three that one was less for the beginner but it actually used the re1 flight controller from brain fpv now that is a slightly unusual animal because it has a vector based on screen display and that is probably one of the models that we fly the most at the moment in fact we've just replaced the motors on here because i found that i was getting problems with the bearings in the fox ear motors and getting an awful lot of noise on the frame but we've just swapped those out from some dys motors some 2205 2300s and we're having a much better time with it this series four is going to be a little bit like the previous one where it's not going to be designed for a complete beginner to follow if you're a complete beginner go and watch series one or go and watch series two it takes you through each of the steps and everything that we show in those series the wiring diagrams tips tricks the steps things to consider will help you get to the end of a build without making some of the common mistakes in this one we are going to be building this little guy here and we're going to be putting HD FPV equipment on it so that we can also play with the Connex Gear 2. So in this video it's just really to let you know that one the series is coming so in the comments below please put anything that you're particularly interested in us covering and also it's a chance for me to kind of lay out all the pieces that we're going to be putting on this frame so that if you wanted to follow along you can get those things in and you can follow us as we do each of the build pieces in the coming weeks on the channel. So first of all, we've got to think about a power system. So we've got the frame and we've got all the pieces here to build the frame. So we don't have to worry too much around that. The frame itself is designed for the Connex equipment. So we have the frame, which is everything's gonna go on to. The other thing that we have are the motors. So we have four motors. We're using some of my favorites, the good old Emacs. These ones are the 2205. 2300 kV motors. These ones are from Banggood. I will put a link in the description for each of these components, so if you want to go and have a look at them, you can. Uh, but these are these little red bottomed numbers that we use an awful lot. Uh, we have them on pretty much every quad that we fly, with the exception of some DYS stuff. So we've got four of those. Uh, we've got some ESCs to pop on those as well. Uh, actually, these came from Banggood too. Um, these are these little, hopefully you'll be able to read it through the packet, uh, favourite BL Heli Little Bees. They're 30 amperes because I want to run this guy on 4S, and it is D-Shot. So we should be able to run... Uh, D-Shot stuff, and because it's BL Heli S, I might be able to also show things like adding the startup tones, because I quite like the idea of it playing the Imperial March when it boots up. So we have the power, we have the ESCs, we have the FPV equipment. The FPV equipment that we're going to use is the ProSight um, Connex system. This is quite a big animal, actually. The reason that we're building this is because it's so big, it's tricky to find something that's going to fit in. So this is the ground station. Uh, we're going to have to do a whole video about how you set this stuff up because it's not as easy as it looks. But the transmitter itself, that's the size of the transmitter. That is the camera. And the frame that we're using 
is designed so that that transmitter fits beautifully into the slot in the top of the frame. So that's going to be an interesting thing to put in and uh, to be honest we've only done a little bit of playing with the Connex stuff. It's, this is going to allow us to really push the limits and see how well this thing performs. There has been a firmware update so we'll be talking about how we do that when we get on to the adding FPV part of the series. The last thing, the thing that's missing, is the flight controller. We're going to use a Betaflight F3 flight controller. This is the one that everybody has been asking us to take a look at. So it's taken us a little bit of time to get our hands on one of these little guys. So we will be putting a Betaflight F3 at the heart of this system, along with all the other components, to make this quadcopter over the coming weeks. So again, the links to all these pieces are down in the description. to show you where I've got ours from. And if you have any questions or comments about the series, please pop them in the comments below and we'll be sure to try and cover them as we cover all the pieces and build a quadcopter from all these individual parts. Thank you for taking the time to watch that video. We try and release at least two videos a week, usually a quick tip on a Tuesday and a more in-depth video on a Friday. And sometimes we manage to get a few more out as well. If you're interested in radio control, then the playlists are useful to have a look at. Anything that's called Introduction To is an organised set of videos that teach you from first principles about the subject that you're interested in. But we also have information about the majority of popular open source flight controllers, how to build quadcopters, fixed wing models, reviews, setups, unboxing all kinds of things in here as well. So if you haven't already had a look at the playlist, then I'd recommend going have a look through here to see if there's anything that takes your fancy. Finally, we do also provide updates through things like Twitter, Instagram, and also post all of our 3D designs on Thingiverse as well. So if you like what we're doing here on YouTube, have a look at those things and subscribe to us there and you'll find out what we're up to in advance of the videos coming out here on the channel.